in my next video we're going to take this uh, Tata uh, big intake I'm going to take it apart and show you all the parts in it which are over here but I'm going to explain how they work and I'm also going to explain I mean this is just my opinion I don't, I don't know it all I'm going to explain how the two-stroke tuning books recommend that you fine-tune your intakes to make them work better just a few ticks and trips and or, uh, tips and tricks another thing I want to mention is a lot of guys out here that their bike isn't running right it's not running right at high speed it's not idling right it isn't as crisp as it usually is they never check the reeds okay the the Chinese make these plastic reeds I don't know what they make them out of but they're not that good and what happens is right on the edges of the plastic here they fray okay and you can get away with that a little bit because you can see down in here how much the reed covers the reed has to has to seal the cage it is a valve it opens and shuts and at, at higher speeds it really has to shut and open so if your bike is not idling well and you've never checked the reed valves the reed material you might want to um, open these up and look at the very edges right here and here and here and here they tend to fray now if they fray and you don't get a seal up here that means you're either leaking fuel into the cylinder when it's not supposed to be there on the compression or it the compression stroke is pushing a fuel charge out into the reed cage because it's not sealing correctly so that's one thing you should check and these reeds do not last forever what I've been doing is taking uh, my Boyson reed materials I'll buy a 125 reed for a uh, Boyson CR125 and then I adapt it and I have uh, many videos on that so I'm gonna go upload these right now and we carry on.